What's poppin' guys and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. Today you might be able to tell I'm wearing a little bit of different attire. I got the collar shirt on instead of the usual fishing stuff and that is because I'm going to fish at a pond that I have never fished before and it's in a golf course that I have never been able to actually go fish or golf at and I've just been super excited all day about getting to go out here. The country club's called Quail Hollow. Uh, some of y'all might know it from the PGA Tour. They have the PGA Championship there. They do the Wells Fargo tournament there pretty much every other year besides when they had the PGA Championship there. So it's a really, really nice, you know, high-end private club and they're super strict about letting people go out there. You have to know somebody. And today I finally got access through one of my dad's friends. Uh, one of his sons is a big fan of mine and wanted to go and do a little bit of fishing with me. So they hooked me up, invited me out, and today we're gonna go fish Quail Hollow. So I'm super excited. And they're actually not members. They're friends with Wesley Walls, who is a former Panthers player who I've met a few times. So we're actually to go to his house and he's gonna give us a ride down to the pond in his golf cart. So that should be pretty cool as well. But without further ado, guys, I got about a 20 minute drive till we meet up with Michael and his dad. So I will catch y'all when we get there. Pulling up to Michael's place now. Let's go ahead and pull into the driveway. How's it going, man? Good. Good. Oh, How you doing, brother? Doing good, doing good. good see, man. Oh, how's it going, brother? How are you? Doing good, man. Sweet. Excited to catch some fish? Totally. Awesome. Well, awesome. I got you a rod. Let me go ahead and, and grab it for you real quick. Yeah, you can <laughs> Alright, that sounds good. They seem to like the fish too much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my friend's got some big ones there. Sweet. Well, here you go, man. Awesome. There's a mock crush combo for awesome. you. Awesome. Rigged it. and ready to go. Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right, let's go see what I'm going to be throwing. All right, well, we'll get you rigged up. We'll, we'll help you figure it out really quick. Hi. I'd recommend probably um, one of those whopper ploppers would probably work pretty well. I'd give that a shot. You can't go wrong with a worm if you want to toss that around a little I bit. I want on a spinner, so... Okay, cool, perfect. And then, um, you know, if you want to tie something on, like a like a lipless crankbait, do you have one? I have a bunch if you need one. Right there. Yeah, that's perfect. I tied something like that on. I'll uh, go grab my stuff while you're getting rigged up. Grab these rods. We're gonna put these in Michael's dad's car. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all inviting me out. Oh yeah, come on. Yeah. It should be fun. I've always wanted to fish quail and have never got the opportunity to, so. You know they feed those fish. Oh yeah, I'm sure they, they feed yeah, them real good. I saw your dad the other day at a golf course. Oh yeah? <laughs> What's up, dude? How are you? Doing good. Yeah, man, how are you? How's it going, man? You're right, you're right. Chris, you're still at the damn pole. That's all right. I just drove over here. I said, I'm going to uh, give you guys a ride. What's happening, guys? How's it going, okay. Wesley? Hey, good to see you. you. Good to good see you. It's been a minute. Hey, Michael, good to see you, too. Good to see you too. Hey, Fletcher, you, you just pop up, in here. Come on. All right. Get in here, man. You right. got room? Yeah, I can. Uh, we'll get on here. Oh. Y'all, hell, y'all going to do some serious fishing over there. Yeah. I want to see. Y'all going to probably catch one right here on the back. Yeah. You want to fish? No. I might be able to help you. <laughs> Let's see, bud. <laughs> Double. Double Already in trouble. Double trouble. <laughs> there you go. They Tore your them. pants up a little bit, but it uh, <laughs> should be good. Be oh, is there? Oh, you got another one? Oh my god. You're. <laughs> Got it off. Thank you so much. Oh, ripped up your shorts a little bit, but Man, I think you're good to go. Shorts, I think I'm gonna survive. <laughs> yeah. Here goes nothing, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the sexy dog. Start throwing it around in this corner. There's a feeder over here and a feeder here. This is a pretty big lake, but supposedly there's some striped bass in here, or sorry, not striped bass, uh, hybrid bass. So it's like a mixture between a striped bass and a white bass. So there's some of those in there. There's largemouth. There's big bluegill, all kinds of good stuff. So we're gonna see what's gonna come up. There we go. 
first fish we're on came up and exploded on that sexy dog i think it's a large mouth oh it was a large mouth but he came off right at the bank just a just a baby go ahead and get back out there nice there you go mike you need help or you got him yeah oh all right <laughs> spit it <laughs> swing them on up with that little guy just throw them up on the bank you got plenty strong line <laughs> look at that i was burning my my bait back in and as you can tell i foul hooked a little baby shad right there <laughs> that is what these fish are feeding on oh, oh shoot Oh my god, these fish are going crazy down here. Holy smokes, I don't know whether those are stripes or hybrids or largemouth. What? What? What is going on? What is going on? Yo, y'all come down here, Michael! What is going on? Oh my gosh. I don't know where all these fish. Oh, there we go. We're on. Let's find out if this is a largemouth or a, a freaking hybrid. Oh, he's running right at me. I can't tell yet. That's probably a hybrid if I had to guess. Yeah, they're hybrids, but they're going nuts. So I got this hybrid up here, but I'm going to try to be really careful about getting this hook out because they actually have these like razor blade fins on their gill plates that will cut the absolute crap out of you um, if you try to like get underneath them. I'm going to wait for Michael with the pliers to get this guy off, but these fish are just schooled up out here going crazy. They're going crazy out here. Yeah. Go get your whopper plopper. Yeah. Grab your whopper plopper. They're like, they're literally, it was like a hundred of them blowing up. All right, got that off. Let's grab this hybrid. Go ahead and give her a nice little toss. Let's we'll see if we can't find another one on top water. I think they're just gonna absolutely destroy this thing. Yeah, come throw that whopper plopper, dude. You're about to catch your crap out of them. Let me go back into the back of this pocket. Give that a shot. Ah, they might be. Um, I mean, it's hard to tell unless they start blowing up like that, but when they were feeding, they were flying around. Do some fan casting out here in the middle. Oh, there's one <laughs> right there at the bank. A little small largey. All right, we're gonna need you to calm down, bud. Oh, perfect. Unhooked himself. <laughs> yeah. With a little floppy guy like that, I'll take that all day. No. I want to see if I can get anywhere close to where these hybrids are. No. There's one. That's a fish, that's a big one. I think I'm on the fountain. I'm on the fountain. Oh, I can't snap that. Oh, did it come off? No, it snapped. Nah, it snapped, unfortunately. All these hybrids are over here blowing up. I think I can get to them from here. We're gonna get close. I don't know if we're gonna get all the way there. Maybe one will hear it. Oh, my spook came off. 
man, with this light braid, you gotta make sure you have a tight knot because these braid knots will slip with you know anything less than like 30 pound braid, 30 pounds or less. They just have a, a freaking tendency to slip. Dang, oh, that seemed like a decent one too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, he took my lure. I know, my knot just slipped. I should have checked it, I didn't check it. Uh, improved clinch knot. But with Bray, yeah, I do. There's one. <sighs> Got him on the thunder. Not that big. Another small largey here. Pissed I missed that big one still. Yeah, just a little large mouth. Nothing special, but she's a fish. No, he doesn't have a beach house. He just lives in Savannah. Ah, uh, he's never been to Charlotte. Oh, there's one. That's a better one. That's a better one. Oh, stay down. Stay down. Oh, yeah. No! Gosh, dang it. <laughs> oh, he spit it right on me. That was the, the best largey so far today. Well, let's get back out there. Ah! <laughs> There's another one. Got that one. All right, let's get this one. Up on the bank. Oh, sorry, bud. Just so whacked him into the side of the rock a little bit, but he should be fine. I apologize, my friend. Just a little guy. Shoo. I'm gonna get back out there, see if we can find another one here in this pocket. They seem to be liking the old Thunder Cricket. Oh, golly. Oh, he's on there. Stay down. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, stay down. They're loaded. Drop the poles. God, he's fighting hard. That is a hard. No, are you kidding? Ah! <laughs> These fish are just evasive. Oh, they're spinning it right back in my face. <laughs> I know. Got some Houdini bass here just find their way off the hook. Let's get back out there. They seem to be loaded in this spot. They're biting the chatter, that's for sure. There we go. Yeah, four casts in a row. <laughs> oh, that's a hybrid. Yeah, you want to see it? I, I don't think you saw the first one. This is a little baby one, but that is a hybrid. Let's get, let's go ahead and have him calm down. There goes that. Just a little baby hybrid. That's the smallest one I've ever caught. <laughs> you want to throw this? Yeah, you can give this a shot. You gotta set the hook hard with this. So just, here, I'll show you what I'm doing. They seem to be responding to it pretty well, considering they, they've hated the last four casts. But I'm just casting out there in the middle, and then I'm just kind of letting it get down a little bit. I'm just reeling it nice and slow. And then just a little pop pop like that. That seems to be getting them triggered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think it's a little largey. Or, or no, yeah, it's a hybrid. <laughs> They're biting it though. 
<laughs> All right, I'll let you, I'll let you give it a shot. Here you go. Give that a shot. See if you can do some damage on them. And now uh, just get it down. Just reel it slow. Yeah, a little bit faster than that. Get a little pop, pop. Remember what I told you about your hand placement there. Yeah, put it. Yeah, that we have a little bit more hook set power. All right, so am I doing something wrong? Here, let me, let me see. Let's see if they're still biting. Yeah, this little paddle tail is, is done for. Put that right there for now. Is your raw? Yeah, we're going uh, <laughs> commando. Do you have a bite? There's one. Yeah, that's a better one, too. That one's got a little bit of size to her. Let's see if we can actually get her up. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a good large mouth. <laughs> Let's go. That's a solid like two something. High two, maybe three pounds. Pop that out of there. Best one so far today. Getting close to three pounds, probably two and three quarters. A beaut. Time to let her right back on in. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, nice. There you go, finally. Well, I sure did have a lot of fun out there with Michael. We're definitely gonna have to link up again sometime and do some other fishing somewhere else. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But as always, guys, Bass in his passion, peace.